I think we should start with the story of how Illumisade began as a school graduation project in 2019. I mean, that's a fresh take on starting a band. <laughs> Not the coolest, I guess, but it is just what it is. <laughs> yeah, I think without this pressure, let's say, uh, for from school, uh, I would have probably not dared starting something. I mean, also why? Because I mean, uh, we're with with Elvati, it's active enough, um, or back then. Um, so, and then we just had to do it, or I had to do it. And then um, for me, it was obvious to ask Jonas if he can join because I graduated in 2019, which was the most um, active year for Elvati. And since we were always together on the road, it would only make sense to uh, to do it together. He's also at the school, um, at the same school. So, you know, same city, everything. It just everything made sense. And now we just finished our first uh, European tour or first tour ever and we're going to North America this year so it's it's really cool I think we're only realizing this now because we didn't play that much life yet and I think this year we finally can do it so it's good <laughs> yeah did I understand correctly that uh, every band member is basically alumni of uh, Zeta Deka Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, I was in the same year, let's say, like Yannick and Mark, the bass player and the, the drummer. Um, Miri studied something different, um, but at the same school. And Jonas, by now, he's teaching there as well uh, a few days. So, so yeah, this is how, how we found each other. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, let's get to the music then, you know. Uh, let's start... Uh... The debut album, how was the experience of releasing, you know, debut album uh, during the pandemic? Yeah, very bad timing. <laughs> but um, we decided to move on with it um, anyway, because uh, we didn't know what the future would bring, right? Like in beginning of 2020, when all this lockdown started and so on, we were like, uh, it's too late to change. And also, let's just give people new music why not i mean music during these times i think is uh, more important than ever and everything was planned already we did the crowdfunding which i think really helped getting some exposure as well for for this first album uh, obviously we we had exposure because we're a part of Elvati, so I think this already gives obviously a boost um definitely and that uh, together with this crowdfunding I don't know, we just went for it. And the cool thing was that we, I mean, it was very improvised. And I'm still amazed that we were actually able to do that. But we did a, a live stream uh, uh, album release show. So actually everybody from all over the world that wanted could join in and watch it. And this would have not been possible without this live stream, without Corona. So at least, you know, always trying to see the positive thing. So that was a nice moment, I would say. Yeah. How was the pandemic for you as a musician and artist? Um, not not the most active time. Um, <laughs> um, at least with uh, shows, obviously. Um, I think it was, though, it, it was a an okay time because I just uh, could put more time uh, or dedicate more time to other things, like trying to do some covers um, and so on. Uh, also writing new music with Illumishade again. We released a few singles afterwards that were done kind of during these weird times, let's say. I think, yeah, it was what it was. And just always trying to get the most positive out of it. We anyway couldn't change it, I guess. So, yeah. How would you describe uh, Illumishade's uh, sound at the moment? Yeah, I think quite some things changed in a way that for example this album now is more like a compilation of songs um whereas the first one ecliptic was a concept album um so there we were of course we had this vision we had the story we did the songs um that worked within the story and this time uh, af after ecliptic we just wrote a few songs without having the vision of a full length album we just wrote songs we didn't know if they would be just standalone singles or whatever would happen 
and so on. So I think we didn't think too much about it and just worked. <laughs> um, I think a big uh, difference is that uh, we opened up more. Um, so all the different influences from the different members, I think, are more hearable um, on this on this album for sure. Um, I think what didn't change in a way is that uh, this should just be our creative output where we just throw in ideas and where these ideas have a place and we embrace them no matter if it's a weird one like let's let's have a piano ballad in Swiss German it's it's fine we we make it work and I think that's the essence of this this band that um, that we just can do whatever we want Um, yeah. I think it also might be more mm, versatile, uh, might have more modern approaches in some songs. I would say we experimented a little bit more uh, to, to this direction, not in all the songs, though. Um, also, the lyrics, I think they're more grounded, more modern, fresher. Um, but I not, not that I didn't like the lyrics from the first album, but it's just compared i would say um it's they're playing in this reality and not in the in the fantasy world i think this uh, fantasy or or this world that we created will be a topic again for the third album most likely or i hope so <laughs> it, it didn't feel right for this album because it it, it was without the concept it was a compilation which i like because it feels very playful like you said uh in the beginning it um... You know, it wasn't sure if it's going to be an album or just singles. So at which point uh, did it, did you realize that, OK, we are making an album here? And uh, what were kind of the ideas that brought it together? Mm -hmm. I think it started when we uh, started talking with Napalm Records, um, when we started negotiating, when it was clear we will sign with uh, Napalm. Then, of course, contractual wise, <laughs> you need to put out albums um, and then it was clear for us. And then also um, in this sh quite a short time, I would say we finished all the missing songs for it. Um, so there were a few songs that were like within like two years done and then the rest of the songs within, let's say, a few months. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could give uh, examples of a couple of songs from the upcoming album. As you mentioned, there's a lot of uh, more variety in your sound, like maybe like a background stories on uh, what kind of songs there are and how did they come to be? Uh, sure. Uh, we, uh, what could I take? Uh, for example, Riptide um, was a really tough one for me, for, for my part that I had to do or did. Um so Riptide was uh, created in the mountains. Uh, we w Once we knew we need to go to the studio to record these missing songs to cr create the full length album, we went to the mountains, um, like all five of us, and just worked for a few days there on the music. And Jonas created this track, um, but without melodies. So I had to um, work out the melody <laughs> and I have to say I'm not used to that that much usually it uh, kind of comes at the same time like the the harmonies and the melodies and this this was a challenge for me and it ended up being a single I mean it will be re released in a few days but I guess that's fine um, and it ended up as a single although I, I had quite some uh, struggle with it <laughs> uh, to, to be satisfied with the melody um, because for me it's a very different approach to put the melody on top of something that is that it already exists. And so uh, somehow it's harder for me, but it's just because I'm not that used to it. So this is, for example, one way um, we created uh, one song. Another song is like, I would say, typical the way we work or worked, especially for the first album as well, as for this one as well. Um, Cloud Reader, for example, started out as a piano demo from me. Um, and then I handed in to Jonas and he plays around with it. He, I don't know, changes the bridge and adds a, a pre-chorus or I don't know, stuff like that. So it's usually like a ping pong effect, uh, which I really like. Um, here we are 
started out as a piano ballad as well and then with the whole band we worked it out and i think now it's quite um it's still a slower uh, track but still it, it got heavy and dark which which i like which it didn't have in the beginning um as well as um to really the, the way i love you this this song same 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 it was a piano ballad and through with jonas's arrangement i don't know it got got heavier um which which is really cool um we also have hummingbird i think which is also really cool the way it was created because it also started out in the mountains although it was not really planned to have this track at all um on somehow it just came with this humming humming theme and with this soft uh, worst part uh and jonas just created the rest to it and it was kind of it started and was done within this mountain time with the band, which I think it's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like very romantic artistic wise to get the whole band in the Alps and then writing music. Is that <laughs> like, a, what's the dynamic there when you write the music, you know, everybody together? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it. I have to say it is, it is always really, really good. And um efficient um because somehow it makes a difference if we're all just concentrated uh, on the same thing because otherwise everybody has their own things going on and uh it's hard to stay focused and um it's it's just it's just a nice vibe in this hut as well it's, it's a special hut for artists that you can rent like the full house so you can also be loud you can work at three in the morning if you want you can play the drums 24 7 so that's really, really cool. And um, then we had quite a structure as well, because otherwise it tends to be maybe a little bit, um, you know, <laughs> messy, I would say. But we had quite some structure, had some meetups, then we split again. We had different working stations. Um, somebody was working on lyrics. Um, somebody was, I don't know, me and Miri, for example, the cyclone end um, part. Uh where, where it has a little bit this Led Zeppelin feeling maybe. Um, we just recorded this together and this the whole melody part in the end with the vocals, it was just more or less improvised and we left it like that in the end. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it works really well for us. Um, and I think we will do that for sure again for the next album too, because we did it for the first album as well. It somehow just works really wonders and only after these days we were ready for the studio so they are necessary <laughs> as you mentioned the lyrics are, this time they are not based in uh, fantasy but, but on the real world so what are the songs about this time mm -hmm. i think the songs are more about human human beings with ups and downs roller coasters emotions when just about life and whatever you go through um we do have a few love songs which is new <laughs> we didn't have one um, on the first album um yeah which just felt right um at that that time and anyway it sometimes happens that um for example when when i when i do a melody with a piano I just sing weird English words to it and then it hits me and I know I want this word. And then I, I go to Yannick and say, hey, Yannick, I really want you to keep this word and otherwise just do whatever you want. And then we build the whole topic or the whole mood of this song around that one word. Um, this happened, for example, with Rice on the first album. Um, I just knew I want Rice there. And the rest of the lyrics or most of the lyrics were written by somebody else. And it's great. I love that because writing lyrics is definitely not my favorite part. <laughs> no. In the beginning, you mentioned the tour in North America. And uh, as I understand, with Corpi Klani, of course. So, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, any other highlights this year? And what are your thoughts on the upcoming year? We are still in uh, February. Yeah, that's true. Um, I'm very, very excited for the North American tour. I mean, it's the first one. 
uh, across the ocean, the big ocean. So I'm just really, really looking forward to that. Um, yeah, we have something really cool coming in autumn as well, which I cannot say yet, but will be announced very soon. We have some cool festivals coming. We're already thinking about slowly, slowly about the third album, of course. <laughs> but it's cool that we're all already thinking about it. And I think that's so the seed is already planted. So that's that's good. Um, yeah, I'm just just happy that we get finally to play live because we now played within two and a half weeks, 12 shows, and we played in three years band history, 11 shows. So <laughs> now it's getting more um, intense and that that's good. That's good. Usually bands, uh, when the new album comes out, the band has heard the songs for a million times. And as you mentioned, the seeds maybe for the next album are being planted now. But uh, of course, we don't know. But uh, what kind of a feeling do you have? Uh, what kind of musical direction is uh, Illumisate going? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Depends how the songs turn out. <laughs> I... I, I personally don't don't think too much when I when I start uh, working. Uh, I don't think too far about it. And somehow, uh, as mentioned before, like if if it's a piano ballad, we still can fix it into something else in the end. And um, I think a, an essence of this band is to to n n to not lead the songs, but we are getting led by the songs if that makes sense kind of by the music is uh, yeah I, I think it would be cool to experiment more with maybe even some heavier stuff too um but just going with the flow and not think too much about how do we want to sound but just create and see how we sound <laughs> yeah do you also uh, write new music on tours or just thinking maybe when can we expect the next one? <laughs> <laughs> I think it will take still some time, of course. Uh, there are some demos already that we didn't use for this album. So I think we can take them and see if we want to use them for the next album, maybe. Um, mm, I personally don't don't think we will write on tours by now. I think there's still too much going on, too many new things we need to learn and to handle um, uh, on these tours. I mean, we only did now one with Delane and I could not imagine and wouldn't have time because there is a lot of things to resolve and do um, and the days go, go quick. Um, uh, so I think it, this is time... Songwriting will be the time when, when we're back home again and when it's a bit more quiet, for sure. Yeah. My eyes so 